understand from your earlier replies that during the observance of breath, the linear thought pattern is broken into a circular thought pattern. Along with that, the need to be in the present to discharge one's duties is also considered inevitable. Though we attain the circular though pattern, the nature of any day-to-day -day work demands linear thought pattern. How can we effectively overcome this disparity in life? It is indeed a good question. Do you know the nature of linear thought? Linear thoughts are in the form of a chain of thoughts created without our notice. We go from one thought to another as in a chain. On the other hand, a circular thought revolves around a center. Continuously, the yoga science call is similar to the pouring of oil from one jar to another. Thought lingers on one object, continuously, without a break. It means the mind dwells on the same matter incessantly. These points may be understood first. So when you do a work, you can keep the awareness of breath as a basic thought in the background. During intervals, one can break the linear thought attached to the work and come back to the background, that is, the awareness of breath. In the long run, a circular thought is maintained as such. Though, you may have to shift to the thought attached to the work now and then. Coming back to awareness of breath frequently prohibits the work-related thought from creating chains of other thoughts. Thus both the linear thought and circular thought attain the same quality, that is, mindfulness. So you mean to observe breath as and when possible during the daily chores? Yes, yes, you are unknowingly coming to the thought. I. At first this may be an induced awareness of the self. But soon it would assume the form of a spontaneous feeling of the self. In that process you act like a pendulum. Going from the smaller self to the cosmic self and back. This is what naturally happening in enlightened ones.